All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, happy early Thanksgiving, everybody. I'm um, getting this done really late. Well, 7.29 is not really late, but it is. Uh, I've had a rough day. I've had a million different things I've had to run around and do. But anyway, I'm back here. We got it We got it fixed. Let's go to Division One. Star Fox in first place. He's won three in a row. J.T. Sanchez, Amazement, half game out. Amazement's won five in a row there. Um, don't look to this division for the best overall record. We're going to get to some goodies in a minute. Vaughn Hook, game out, or half game out. Thomas Edward, a game out. Gary Soodle's only a game and a half out. Gary Soodle right now is the best record overall for picks. He's at 115 and 61. Uh, yes, is only two out. Vaddix only two and a half out. Mr. Hippie Man, you know, give credit to Mr. Hippie Man. Uh, he's, he's, pull, he's held his own in this division. This is a tough division. Uh, and he is in ninth place technically because, remember, one's his name. So Star Fox is really one. I got rid of name up there, but um, yeah, he's a ninth out of seven out of seventeen people. But he's six and five, and he's only three out. So uh, I would say Vadix up has a shot maybe to win, but you know he's got to get some luck. Let's go to Division Two. We got Harry O'Neill, eleven zero and one, half game out. Christian Warnsley's won nine in a row. Every time I see Christian Warnsley, I think Christian McCaffrey for some reason, but he's ten zero and one. He's only a half game out. Yosef two and a half out. Jason Block, three out, and the Gaming Goalie Channel, three out. The rest of them suck. Division three, Carlos Ruiz, 11 0 1. He's won nine in a row. He's at 116 and 60, by the way, 659. Let's see. Yeah, that's right now the best so far. Yeah, so 116 and 60. Wait a minute. What was 115 and 61? 653, okay. So 116 and 60. It's still not the best overall, though. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, the CV Guns won six in a row. He's had a quiet season, a quiet 10-2 and two for the CV Gun. He's only a game and a half out. Uber9 just hasn't played in a million years. He's only three out, though. If he would actually play, he'd have a shot. Hector Flores, same thing. Uh, the God Box has won 10 in a row, not to be confused with God Friended Me on uh, NBC. Or is it NBC? Yeah, it's NBC. No, it's CBS. Sorry, CBS. Great show, by the way, and it's getting good in the middle of the season, too. Hopefully it gets renewed. We go to Division Four. Gabe Kronick uh, got a loss. Tough week. Um, Dan McLean is now tied with him, but Gabe Kronig has uh, percentage points. He's ahead of him. So Dan McLean, a virtual tie for first, but Gabe Kronig right now is percentage points, but that's because he's played one less game. Uh, Adama's only, he's won seven in a row. He's ha a half game out. Uh, Jay Valenz is only a game out. Uh, Jack M's only a game and a half. Husky Leaf Gaming, two games out. Everybody else doesn't play. Uh, with the exception of James, actually does, I think, play. He just has had some rotten luck, um, and that's pretty much that. Let's go to Division 5. Tell You Ride Gaming has won 10 in a row. Uh, he's a half-game lead over Jennifer Lynn Goldilocks, who I think I think she had a bye this week. No, she won. Well, I don't remember. who had the, But it was Team 12 that had a bye. So, Jennifer, if you're Team 12, you had a bye. But I forget. Uh, cool man, 10 and 2. He's only a game out. Thomas Miranda writes, he's fallen a little bit. He's a game and a half out tied with Mark Barron, who is not Jewish at 8 and 3, uh, per, uh, for overall picks. But again, right now, Carlos Ruiz is still ahead until we get to the, uh, until we get to the latter division. 659. Anybody here? No. All right, so let's go to division 6. Magic Baku Aku Aku, and uh, he's 9 0 2. He's won five in a row. Chris Matranga of the Mob had a bye, um, but he lost in the overall picks here. So this could be have huge tie breaking uh, scenarios because he, he took an 0 and 14 because he didn't put his picks in. He forgot to, but he had a bye, so he doesn't lose anything here. He's a game out, though. He's won seven in a row overall. Almighty Bagel, six in a row, two and a half out, and that's pretty much that. Um, let's go to Division 7, and here we have Black Wolf, who's won eight in a row. Jay Willie's won nine in a row. Uh, Peyton Order, the Russian, 118 and 58. That actually might be the best record, uh, the more I think about it. So he's at 670 winning percentage. He's only two games out, though. He's won five in a row, and that's pretty much the drill there. We go to Division 8, the division that doesn't play, and, um... The worst record overall again, 24 karat gold again. He is four and 172 for a 0 0.023 winning percentage. Let's go to Division Nine. We got TJD's won seven in a row. Nobody else is playing, so TJD is gonna. Eli C was playing, but uh, TJD should be able to coast to the finish. Uh, Division Ten. We got Navy at 10-0 and one, and Picoline at 8-0 and three. 
Everybody else is in play. Uh, Division 11, PZ Zez, 10-0-1, first place, game and a half over Fat Dick Boy, two over Phil and Craig Reyes, Angie Angelo. Uh, and then everybody else again doesn't play. Well, they play, but they just, they just didn't, they didn't win. Division 12, we got Bolt up at 9-1-2, uh, but technically Splash God percentage, oh, wait a minute now. Wait, oh, sp okay, so here's why. Splash God, wait a minute now. So 10, so 10 out of 11 versus... 10 out of 12. That's that's what we got going on here. So, actually, that doesn't make any sense. Splash God should have a better percentage than um, Bolt Up. Give me a minute here. Let's one, do this on the fly. Come on, you stupid computer. I hate this computer. Oh, my God. All right. So, let's see here. If we do 10 out of 11, that's a 909. What the hell is wrong with me? Yeah. So you should be at 909, and then 10 out of 12 is 833. That's correct, so watch this. Makes a lot more sense now. We're going to we're gonna insert. We're going to take Bolt up. Oh, we're going to take Splash God, I mean. We're going to copy him. We're going to paste him here. Come on. And then we're going to get rid of Splash God there. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Ugh, I fucking hate this thing. I hate it so much. Oh, my God. And then we're going to delete. All right, good. So let's go back into reality. Back to life, back to reality. Splash God uh, fixed your percentage there. So you're 9 0 2. So Bolt Up's only a half game out because he has that one loss. He's played one more game. Astros Rockets, uh, one game out. Fizz Hawk is only three out. Parker Purdue, Bobby Davisher, he's won three in a row. He's six and five, and then that's pretty much the end of that. We go to Division Thirteen, where Stephen Wolf is nine and zero, oh, one nine in a row. And then the last division here. This is all right. This is a very, um, this is a very intriguing division. This is probably the best division right now, aside from Division One. And here's what's going on here. So Team Four, excuse me. Team, um, who did I give the buy to in this division? Was it 12? Was it? Yeah, I think it was. One, five, two, four. Now, who did I? Mile high. I gave it to mile high. So, mile high, I forget what division. Wait a minute now. Let's see. Mile high is, yeah, so I gave four the buy. Okay. So I gave uh, team four the buy in this division because, again, they don't have 17 guys. They only have 13 guys. But anyway, Enrique Barajas and Masilan and Angus Johnson and Bengals report are all tied for first. Now, technically, Angus and Bengals were tied last week. I just, I got it wrong. So let me explain how that works. Enrique and Masculon have played one less game than Angus and Bengals. Now, Enrique and Masculon have technically have nine and a half wins. See that? Nine plus the tie is a half of a win, so nine and a half. So technically, Angus and Bengals are a half game up on them. But Angus and Bengals have two losses, whereas Enrique and Masculon only have one and a half. So Enrique and Masculon are a half game up in that capacity, so they even each other out. So technically, there is a four-way tie for first, but virtually Enrique and Masilan are at the top uh, based on the fact they played one less game. Angus and Bengals will eventually have their bye, so Enrique and Masilan will, will be able to catch up. J.D. Beast, who for two weeks in a row has not played, he's gotten lucky though and he's tied. He's a, he's a half game out. Um, and I did it based on Angus and Bengals' report. So he has nine wins to Angus and Bengals, ten. And then he has um, two losses to their two losses. So it's really one divided by two is a half game out. Nathan Judge, uh, three games out, and that's it. So, but look at the, I think, so 665 was the closest, 117 and 59, Angus Johnson, but right now, Peyton Award of the Russian overall has the best record in football here as far as picks go. 
we'll get to him where the hell there he is. Page order of the Russian, uh, 118.58. So great job, everybody. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. We have a surprise tomorrow on the Andy VHB channel. And for those of you who like ASMR, I have uh, created another a I've cre another I've created a ch ASMR channel. You can check it out. It's the ASMR Collector. I'm doing the best I can with the ASMR. I've gotten a couple of shout outs, even uh, Lloyd. Lloyd's ASMR, a pretty big channel in the community. Um, very cult, I should say cult classic channel in the community. Uh, he, he's, a, he's a fan, so it's, and I'm a fan of his. I've been a big fan of his for a while. So that's pretty, really cool that I have somebody like him liking the channel. Got a few subs from him, so that's nice. So check it out. I'm going to have a, a video up tomorrow for Thanksgiving, uh, but I'm also going to have a surprise for you guys on this channel tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. As always, put your picks in on this video, and uh, stay tuned for a video game update, or video game update, video game pickups video. It's a pretty big one from GameStop. Thanks for watching, guys.